Good morning you guys and how are you doing today? I hope you're enjoying like all the period up to Christmas and I hope you've been having lots of fun. I have decided to do a vlog today because I've got a bit of free time. Well, I've got a lot of free time I've got today off work but if I haven't been vlogging basically all this week it's because I've been really busy. We had a Christmas dinner to go to last night so I was cooking all day yesterday. I had my work Christmas party on Saturday, Mr. Hey Sophia had his work Christmas party on last week Friday night. I've been working basically every day or just doing, whoop, strudel. But yeah, so I haven't really had a lot of time to do anything. I've got some free time this morning so I've been doing my Horizon Zero Dawn which I picked up from Amazon in the USA. I think it was like 20 US dollars plus free shipping so it was really really good. Um, especially because the game in Australia still costs like, I want to say about $70, um, so that was like a bargain for me. So I've been doing that this morning, I've only just started playing because I haven't had time to be playing. Yes, yeah, so I'm just playing that at the moment, I have the girl snuggling next to me, so Strudel's there, and then Henry is under the pillow. Like she normally is because she's a Dutch town. But yeah, if any of you have um, played the game, I'm only really, um, I'm only really early on in the beginning. I just stupidly ran into these watches. Um, but yeah, so I've only just started playing. Like I said, I haven't really had um, time. If any of you have played Horizon Zero Dawn, I'm at the bit where I just went past, I think it was the North Embrace Gate, and I, um, I defeated, I think it was called a Sawtooth, and now I've got to head back to Ross or whatever, so if you play the game, that's what I'm up to, but the game is, like, super, super, super pretty. Um, I've been wanting to play it, like, all year, but it just costs too much and I haven't had the time. Um, so yeah, so I've just been doing a little bit this morning since I've had the time. But yeah, so I'm going to play this for a little bit longer and then we're going to get into some baking. I've got to do some gingerbread today and also some shortbread which we're going to decorate. But I have some really, really cool cookie cutters that you guys might like. Maybe possibly video game theme. But yeah, so we're going to do some baking and then I'm feeling like maybe doing miso ramen for dinner. Um, if I do that, they'll have to stop by the supermarket, so you'll need to come with me there. But again, it also depends. It's also really hot, so if I've got my hair up and I look like crap, I think it's like 30 degrees Celsius today. We're in like a heat wave at the moment over in Australia with the summer. Like I know just yesterday when we were going to our friends, you could kind of see over the beach, like, um, because she lives up, they live like up on a hill and you can see down to the coastline kind of, and you could see like a big bushfire blowing it's just like normal here though so just dying of heat so hair's tied up and I look like crap but not much you can do when it's like 100% humidity and you're dying in heat in summer but yeah so I'm gonna play this a little bit longer and then we will get into some baking okay so I thought while I'm here before I start these cookies if there's a little hum like humming sound in the background as well that's the aircon it's really hot and the dogs are kind of suffering and I'm suffering but I thought I would announce the Minecraft giveaway that I'm doing on my channel for Christmas time. So I am giving away this official Minecraft merchandise torch. I think it's really, really cool and it's something that anyone, adults or kids can like. And it only needs AAA batteries. So you don't have to worry about hooking it up to like your plugs in whatever country that you are from but this is an international giveaway so anyone can enter at all I don't mind paying the shipping costs of shipping it out to you it probably won't be till after Christmas but I will get it sent to you so all you have to do to win this really cool official Minecraft merchandise light up torch is comment down below of what's your favorite mob in Minecraft so it can be any mob you like you just have to comment down below what's your favorite mob in Minecraft and then I will announce the winner in a different video when I choose it and I will get in contact with you. Yeah, so comment down below what's your favorite mob in Minecraft. This is an international giveaway, anyone can enter. If you're over 18 years old, that's fine, go ahead. If you're under 18, just get your parents' permission to enter. 
Yeah, so what's your favorite mob in Minecraft? But let's get cooking. Okay, so I'm gonna get started baking now. I'm hanging out with the the girls, if you can kind of see there, who are not enjoying the heat like I'm not. But yeah, so we're gonna get started baking. I've got some really cool cookie cutters or biscuit cutters, whatever you prefer, for the gingerbread and shortbread we're gonna be making today. So the first one is, I've actually got some Minecraft ones. I got these as a gift last year from my mum. So I've got like sword pickaxe creepers, an actual cookie, like a Steve there. So they're really, really cool. I've also got, I've taken these out of the tin, but these are Portal. If you know Portal, the video game, Portal 2, there's like the companion cube, like little bits for the companion cube as well. So that's like your little companion cube there. We have the portal, a couple of the running guys, we've got the turret, and then I've also got here a gingerbread man, and then a bunch of like Christmassy ones. I did have a couple in here, like the star and the tree, but I didn't have like these ones. These are all pretty cool designs, so I got some of those too. And then this is everything we will need for our baking today, so we've got bicarb soda, flour, bunch of spices, salt brown sugar, golden syrup, eggs, and butter. So the recipe we are using today is this one here. So this is like taste.com.au, but if you search gingerbread, that's like a really, really easy recipe. Like it only takes 10 minutes to cook. I think last time I made it last year, it took about 15 or 20, cause I made mine a little bit bigger, but it's super, super easy to do. You just mix it all together basically and roll it out and yeah. Okay, so the dough has been cooling in the fridge for about half an hour now. We will roll out one first and then we'll, we will get to doing the other one. So I think this one we're going to focus on using these Minecraft ones in here. They should just be sitting. Let me try and open it one handed. There we go. So there they all are. So you can see here's the cookie here. You got your creeper, sword, pickaxe and Steve. We might do a couple of Steves and kind of dress them like gingerbread men, or at least one Steve. We'll do a sword and a pickaxe, creeper and a cookie. Pickaxe, creeper and a cookie. So I'm going to start rolling this out now and then we'll start cutting some shapes. I've simply just put the um, baking tray here on a chair just so I can easily go between bench, chair, bench, like when I'm rolling it out and stuff like that. I don't really have a lot of room. So let's get started on this. Okay, so our gingerbread, I've all rolled them out now and put them on the trays. You can see them here. So I've done like a bunch of the Steve ones. I've done at least like about four of each one. So got cookies, Steve, Solds, pickaxes. Also because I don't want to be doing like too much of the like too much of the Minecraft because I do want to still do normal ones and also the portal ones. So I've also put on here a few of the little light bulb ones and also the Christmas trees. So I'm gonna put these in the oven for 10 minutes and then they should be done and we can get rolling more. All right, so it's been 10 minutes exact and I took them out of the oven. Some of them are like a little bit overcooked. So I wasn't sure about the creepers because they are very like, they're very thin compared to like a cookie or these ones here, which you can see have cooked like perfectly. 
So these kind of ones which are thinner have cooked a lot faster. The difference with like, normally these like cookie kits are meant for like sugar cookies and stuff like that, not gingerbread that can burn really easily and extends like expands funny when it's cooking in the oven. So some of like the swords and stuff are a little bit more cooked around the handle and the thin areas here or like on the edges. There's one Steve and biscuit that were up near the back so they're slightly like a little bit toasty there. But the majority are like really really good. When I when I like roll out the next batch, I'm just letting the trays cool down because you don't want to put fresh cookie dough on it and then it like cooks it, you need the trays like cold. I'll actually turn the oven off quickly. I can just preheat it again while I roll. So I'm letting the trays cool down just so we're not putting the biscuits on and they're cooking. You need them to start cooking once they're in the oven, not while they're on the tray. I might roll a few more of like these creeper ones here and maybe also a few more of the swords and just cook them a little bit shorter. Just not like as long as the 10 minutes the recipe says because obviously with the cookie cutter size it's just not going to work. So I'll re-roll a few of those. And then I'll start on a few of the other shapes as well, but I've got to let these trays cool down so I'll be back to this in probably like half an hour. Okay, so I finished all the cookies. This is all of them here. I think they turned out quite nice. Now I did a double batch of that recipe I showed, so if you want to do as many as this, you need to be doing a double batch. But I'm going to make some icing now and we're going to decorate them. I've also got four decorating. I've also got these, these little like silver bobble things, so I'll put some of them on as well. But I'll make the icing and then we'll get going. guys I finished doing my very dodgy little gingerbread decorating I think they ended up quite cute they're really dodgy but I like them when they're dodgy because they look more like cute little Christmas baking type thing if that makes sense when they're perfect they're really pretty but when they're dodgy they look like homemade Christmas baking so I finished that now but we're going to now make some ramen so I've got like the majority of things out that I'm going to do so I'm going to make this now and then I will see you guys when I finish making my ramen. So there we go, there is the ramen that I quickly made. So it's like a spicy pork miso ramen. I just poached some eggs, well boiled some eggs to the runny kind of sage corn, um, green onion or shallots and just spicy pork and then you can kind of see the ramen sticking out there. So there you go you guys, I hope you enjoyed the vlog for today. I'm going to eat my dinner and then get ready for bed and go to bed before I'll edit this vlog first and upload it. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog today. Please like and subscribe if you did. Comment down below if you're doing any Christmas cooking or anything like that. But like always guys, thank you. Bye.